During the Battle of Okinawa, the Japanese general Mitsuru Oshishima made his final stand to vent the mainland invasion of Japan and stop the American forces. To defend the island, he didn't feel the need to fortify the entirety of Okinawa and ordered that only the center and north part would be fortified. This way he could make the most inaccessible parts of the island an impregnable fortress. Two of these guns that were used in these fortifications are now on display at the Yasukun World War II Museum in Tokyo. The Type 89 and 96 howitzer were dug into the caves and were knocked out in the fighting. They would stay there until they were salvaged more than a decade later. The 96 was placed in front of the Veterans Club in Okinawa and in 1966 it was donated to the Yusaka Museum and restored and placed outside. The 89 was placed in the collection of the Okinawa World War II Museum and was sent to Yusakan in 1970s. They were displayed outside for more than two decades and in 1993 they were restored and placed inside the entrance hall. The Type 89 50cm cannon was the main heavy gun of the Imperial Japanese Army heavy artillery units and would see service from 1929 until the end of World War II. And even though it did great in China and at the beginning of the war, the 89 proved to be severely limited to other guns of this type at the time. And the Japanese Army found it to work great as a fortress gun and because of this it would make up the majority of fixed guns in World War II. It would prove to have shorter range and wasn't efficient enough. The gun was also very mobile and would take a long time to be set up and could only be moved into two separate loads, which you needed a 7 ton prime mover to do so. Even though the 89 was a fairly modern design in the 1920s, it was severely outgunned in World War II and only 150 were eventually produced. The Type 96 was intended to replace the Type 4 150mm howitzer. The development of the howitzer took the observations the Japanese made in World War II in account. But the 96 development took almost two decades and it was eventually ready in 1934, but War Minister General Okagi found it to be lacking and production was halted until 1937. The 96 proved to be extremely modern and well designed and an effective weapon. It had great elevation capabilities of 65 degrees with a maximum range of 12,000 yards and could be fastly moved in a single load by a tractor or six horses. The production number of the 96 was considerably high but would never completely replace the Type 4 howitzer. And even though the production was stopped in 1945 with 450 built, it would still see use in the Korean War and even the Vietnam War until 1975. In 1945, Japan was unable to supply a sufficient amount of weapons and ammunition to the front line against the US Army, which advanced with overwhelming numbers at this point. Okinawa was the last obstacle before a mainland invasion of Japan could begin, so the Americans started Operation Iceberg to capture Okinawa. But the Japanese still had a huge force of men defending the island and they built a huge underground bunker system reaching almost 96 kilometers and all this was built in the most hilly terrain of the island. The 16 Type 89s and 96 guns of the Independent Heavy Artillery 1st Battalion were deployed at Shuri. 
where the Japanese 3rd Army Command HQ was located in the ruins of Shiri Castle. Despite overwhelming unfavorable conditions, the troops hit these guns in underground positions. The Japanese artillery was overwhelmed by US artillery and the difference in Japanese artillery forces was staggering, as it was said that a Japanese artillery gun fired one shot, it would receive nearly 100 shells back from US artillery. But on 25th of May, the American battleship Mississippi shelled the position for three days in a row. And on the 29th, the castle was in American hands, which was a huge blow to Japanese morale and a milestone in the campaign. The Usagon Museum has impressively restored these guns and you can see them for free at the entrance hall of the museum, together with the ASXM-0 and the C-56 locomotive used on the DEF railway. Of course none of the history is mentioned and the train is a memorial to the brave men that operated it and not to the hundreds of thousands of men that died making the railway or the comfort women that were transported by it. I was glad to see that the guns escaped any political nonsense and the information board tells the history in English and Japanese and they are here to honor the soldiers that died in the battle for Okinawa and the soldiers that defended the island. Sadly nothing is mentioned about the battle of Shiri Castle. The battle for Okinawa would turn out to be more bloody than that of Saipan and almost all of the Japanese soldiers would die or commit mass suicide with almost 76,000 dead in total and the Americans would lose an estimate of 50,000 men. The Japanese would commit the same atrocities here as they did in Saipan and many of the native population would die either by forced conscription into the Japanese military or forced to commit suicide or eventually scared by Japanese propaganda in committing suicide and a total of 2,000 civilians would die in the fighting or by jumping off the cliffs. And all of these high numbers would come in account in a decision made by the US in the last month of the war. みんな